Hey, thanks for being here. It's another moment to your girl Annie Okongo. It's Valentine's special. Come on. Now, let's talk about something unique and beautiful about us. Valentine. A Valentine, uh, most times a lot of people look at this from a very different perspective. But one thing is sure, it's linked to love. Now, the way you go about your loving, okay, now that's your thing, you know, and you are free to love however you want to know or however you think of showing that love. But one occurrence that is always peculiar to Valentine is that a lot of girls are going to lose their flowers this period, you know, especially when you have to come across that type of Ed Sheeran, you know, Ed Sheeran, when you hear such words as, you are an angel in person. I don't deserve you. <laughs> you know, you, I don't deserve you. You, aha. Uh -huh. Okay. And the guy is going to say, what? Oh my God. Are you serious? Oh, but it's my first time. So before you start crying afterwards, you better know this guy and know if you really want to do this. Now, to the next group of people or persons are those who are going to say, Oh my God, he put a ring on it. Now, to all of you who are expecting before he actually accomplishes it, do not have so much high hopes. You know, just play cool, be normal. Even though you've seen that ring, be sure it's for you. You know, before you get disappointed. That doesn't go to say I'm wishing you ill luck. No, 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 a thousand times. No, I wish you your heartfelt desires. And then to the next one. Now, I saw something on Ada's Corner from Instagram whereby a guy was actually preparing or he prepared a gift for the wife. <laughs> now, this is so funny because you know what happened? He, the scenario just like opened the door, you know, took a shower, walked to the room, being naked. And then as she got into the room and then he kept what looked like a gift. And she was so happy. And as she lifted the gift and opened it, it was go wash the dishes. So this is going to be, it's going to be like an approach for lazy wives. are going to be getting that kind of, that kind of that kind of valentine gift valentine's gift that says get up and stop lazing about it's time you helped out in the family and vice versa not just to the uh, ladies getting all of the, such gifts but also to the the men as well now another funny scenario is i saw a post somewhere where a guy said i've actually prepared the report the whole um, document and I waited for this day to give it to my wife and when people said wow what is the gift he said it's going to be a divorce letter and she has to sign because I've had it up to my bone marrows it's not been working and when people said but that's being like heartless why wait for such a day to do this he said yes I'm not going to come out here to say all that we've been through together but she knows she deserves worse but I'll just be so kind as to let her see this on that day and remember it for the rest of her life that on such a special day she got this because of her you know evil ways and we get this to me and now vice versa this is not just going to the women receiving the men would also be receiving different awkward gifts you know that they feel they deserve <laughs> or that their partners things now feel they deserve so Another interesting one and sad is that on this Valentine Day, a lot of lives are going to be lost. Why? Because youths, adults, children, a lot of things would happen. People would get carried away. They're going to drink and, you know, they're going to accident and different um, bad occurrences. We do not wish it. But it's life and this is just going to tell people be careful i remember i think i was in my i was in my early secondary school days when uh it was a valentine and a girlfriend of mine was having her birthday and from school she said let's go celebrate my birthday in the beach you know so i said oh i didn't inform my parents i forgot about it um sorry i can't go 
and then some of them went and you know what happened what happened was that the particular girl who was having the birthday she lost her life on that day she didn't make it because at the beach the water you know the ocean waves and tides um swept off like it usually does and she didn't know how to swim and she was cut up with uh the force of the 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 water you know so she got carried away and the next day we heard the news it was really really sad so this valentine a lot of happenings a lot of good things some people are actually gonna put a ring on it you know and the guy is gonna say i've waited for this day to make it special you know and the woman is gonna say i've waited for this day to make it special this is what i've saved for this year is to pull this family together have it and support to whatever you're doing so lots of good news are going to come from every corner but just as the bad news but the message is it's a beautiful valentine period spend it with your family and loved ones be happy make it memorable but in all that you do do not forget the reason for the celebration show love to the poor to the hungry to the needy to um you know as many that you can reach out to most especially to your friends families and loved ones and be happy make it memorable do not be carried away with what very um with what the season brings you know with what valentine presents and all of those so valentine uh for saint valentine we know about that story most of us do um he was the man who died um believing that it's good to give arms to the less privileged in your society in your you know area um he gave arms to the poor he gave arms to sos you know there's a um, motherless kids motherless babies you know he reached out even to the elderly um he worked with organizations that reached out to the elderly so it was just about reaching out on charitable works from that man, St. Valentine. But today, most times, the word love is looked at just from the perspective of relationship, courtship, and all. So, uh, once again, I'm going to tell you, I hope you find your Prince Charming this season. I hope you find that one that sweeps off your feet. And in case you're thinking of how to make it memorable... You can start the morning by beautiful soft music that just keeps you warm and happy, you know. And then a cheerful environment, a cheerful look, a cheerful smile. Say to everyone around you a beautiful good morning, good day. You know, as you make tea for yourself, you ask the other one, just show concerns all around. It's always beautiful. Even the devil sometimes cannot resist kindness, you know. So you start by the very little things. Take care of yourself. Give yourself like a clean shower, you know. The freshen up, you know. Apply that beautiful scent, perfume. You know, just look good and, you know, keep the keep the fire of love burning around you and your entire household. Make the beautiful things, you know, your kids love. If you have one, if you don't, then that your partner likes. You know, just get in the mood and celebrate together. Um, and in case you're alone and saying, I do not have anyone to celebrate with, then take good care of yourself because you are beautiful and you are blessed. And that you do not have someone today doesn't mean you won't have someone tomorrow. Okay, so make it worthwhile for yourself. Take care of yourself. Be happy. Have a good meal freshen up like a good shower and you know clean up and be good and make yourself happy play lovely music call your loved ones or families if you have a way and just wish everyone a beautiful moment in it it's valentine <laughs> valentine special thank you so much have a beautiful day one love